नमस्कार सत श्री अकाल आदाब एंड जय हिंद माय नेम इज कर्नल ललित कुमार देवलाल एंड आई एम ए मिलिट्री वेटरन ऑफ इंडियन आर्मी एंड नाउ आई रन एक्सपोर्ट कंपनी ऑफ माइन कॉल्ड कॉस्मिक हाइलेट आई एक्सपोर्ट चिकन कारी अपैरल्स ऑफ लखनऊ एग्रो प्रोडक्ट्स लेदर प्रोडक्ट्स एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स वी आर स्टैंडिंग इन लखनऊ सिटी सेंटर विच इज़ द स्टेट कैपिटल ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड टू कम एंड अटेंड द स्वदेशी मेला फेयर विच इज़ बींग ऑर्गेनाइज बाई डी ट्राइबल्स इन शिकागो आई एम वेरी मच प्लीज बाई द एक्टिव सपोर्ट गिवन बाई गणेश बाई दीपाली फॉर लास्ट टू मंथ्स एंड आई एम क्वाइट श्योर इट इज़ गोइंग टू बी अ प्रोफेशनली सेटिस्फाइंग एंड वेरी प्रॉफिटेबल फॉर मी यू कैन सी द आइकॉनिक बिल्डिंग ऑफ Rumi Darwaza behind me this is the gate which was made in 1784 by very famous king of this place uh, called Asifuddaullah the height of this gate is around 60 feet and this represents the avadhi sculpture i am in the city center of lucknow which is the capital of up as you know up is the most populated state of our country and it is growing very fast as far as exports are concerned and it is also the land of indo gangetic plains which is most populated plains in the whole world and we are going up and up as far as export is concerned uh my company cosmic highland is established here i belong to this place because i was uh studying in this place for last so many years you can see in front this is the clock tower uh every city has a clock tower and lucknow is one it is made by britishers and it is very near to rumi darwaza if you can uh, it is uh, precisely 100 meters uh southwest of rumi darwaza and this is one of the four iconic buildings of lucknow one is rumi darwaza another is clock tower third is imambala and fourth is residency i am going to take you to all these four places and whoever comes to lucknow he ensures that he visits clock tower rumi darwaza imambala and residency these are the pillars of lucknow in general and uttar pradesh in particular now we are in front of bada imambala Bala Imam Bala houses the graves of Nawab Asif Uddaula and his wife. Uh, there are three more buildings inside. This one is a big mosque, another is a bawdi. Bawdi is a pond, and the third one is Bhul Bhulaiya. In this bawdi or in this pond, they say there is a key which is inside water, which has uh, the biggest treasure. If somebody finds that key, he will be the millionaire. There is another building called Bhul Bhulaiya, and uh, this building has a lot of passages. this confuses people where from to go where from to come out so it was very difficult for the enemy to find the soldier who was targeting him and this mosque is one of the biggest mosque during eid around 50000 muslims they pray here in unison with complete harmony welcome to chicken shop this is not the chicken shop of eating chicken this is chicken a hand embroidery style of our the region chicken is a 400 years old hand embroidery style which is a uh, limited to our the region which is said was brought by Noor Jahan a uh, queen of Jahangir the Mughal emperor from Persia in Persian shikin this is pronounced as shikin means embroidery she herself was a very skilled lady and once she prepared a white dress for the king and when Jahangir wore it in his court everyone liked it because it was very novice it was very unique pattern and thereafter it got the royal patronage for 400 years and this particular kind of hand embroidery is very delicate which has got five or six processes uh, involving a colossal amount of time chicken kari involves five six steps first step is cutting the cloth second is stitching the cloth which is done by one man and the third and most important step of chicken curry is block printing there are wooden blocks through which the print is uh, put onto the stitched clothes and once that printing is finished then comes the hand embroidery it is the most delicate part which is done by a soft and delicate hands of the women and it takes considerable amount of time it is not one day not two days job sometimes one shirt may take up to a month eight hours every day and once the embroidery has been done thereafter the 
clothes are sent for washing it is washed one time two time three times so that the block imprints are totally removed and thereafter it is sent for ironing then the fine piece of chicken comes there are thousands and thousands of families in lucknow in our region those who draw their livelihoods out of it you go to the villages there are clusters which are promoted by the government by private organizations where women are given these works and they draw sizable amount of money for their families it has been given the geographical indication recognition by government of india as well in 2008 because this kind of hand embroidery is limited only to the our region in general and to lucknow in particular there are uh, in my considered opinion more than 1500 shops in and around lucknow and the famous market for this is chok where there is mass production of this kind of clothes they are time consuming and not only time consuming it needs a lot of skill lot of experience and the classical chicken the traditional chicken is white on white but over a period of time with modernization with new fashion the embroidery has changed colors it can be white on green green on white black on black or black on uh, red but primarily the original style is white on white means the white cloth or white cloth and embroidery also with the white thread the most quintessential part of chicken curry is hand embroidery the finesse the delicacy the professional acumen which is required for this it cannot be replicated with machines people tried it umpteen number of times but machine failed always and every time because the kind of finesse which you get in hand embroidery by the skilled women can never be translated by machines the machines may speed up the work they may reduce the man hours but as far as the class is concerned they cannot it is always the experience of delicate ladies it is always the finesse of the ladies it is the it is always the skills of them over a period of time which they have developed from their generations to generations it is not this generation second generation third generation fourth generation it can never be replicated with the help of machines now we tell you the procedure for making chicken curry this is the first step in which tailor master is cutting the cloth slowly and slowly he measures the cloth cuts it and the cloth is not washed now it is very very important step it will be washed at the end finishally he is cutting it and the cutting will be as per the design for men and women and once the cutting is over then comes the process of stitching which is done by the same man he is tailor for cutting he is the tailor for stitching these two aspects these two steps of chicken curry are under his supervision it is his responsibility and this is one of the most important step because if the cutting is not appropriate the cloth will not find its delicacy it will not find its finesse it will not find its fitness the step 2 of chicken curry is stitching first we saw the cutting and now this is the stitching the same man the tailor master he is responsible for stitching one who has done the cutting because if there is any mistake in cutting he is able to uh, repair or uh, uh, modulate it a bit and once this is done then it will go for the block printing which is another step more difficult for which you need another person we saw cutting then we saw stitching and this is the number 3 step which is very very important this step is called printing you see these are the wooden blocks through these blocks this gentleman is doing the printing these wooden blocks have floral motifs they have stem motifs they have birds motifs and various other kind of motifs and the solution which is used for the painting or printing is indigo gum detergent and shampoo all these four things when they are mixed together the imprint comes in a very very distinct manner and it shines the more it shines Uh, the more easier becomes the work of hand embroider which is the fourth step if this imprinting is of low quality it is not shining then their work will be affected and we will not get the quality product as a finish we have seen cutting we have seen stitching we have seen block printing and now we are at hand embroidery you see this is the replication of block printing if block 
printing is perfect the work of hand embroider will be perfect because he is just stitching those imprints with thread and this is the frame which she is using and this is the floral design which has been printed on which he is putting various kind of threads they may be colored as well also at times but as of now we are using the a uh, white thread and it is always done on the reverse side of the cloth so that in front it is without any disturbance without any imperfection for a shirt of men it takes around 15 days working 8 hours every day it is much more for the ladies garments for a lady dress from top to bottom it may take up to 2 months or 3 months and if it is home textile like a bed sheet like a, a curtain ah it may take up to 3 months and 4 months as well because each and every stitch needs time and most important is the sari the women's sari which is 2.5 meter long a uh, embroidered chicken embroidered sari may take up to 1 year if you need a, a piece of finery uh, which is representing true white on white uh, sari for women so it is not easy it is no shortcut and it is no imperfection it needs time it needs skill it needs perfection and it needs patience and softness of a woman thank you welcome to my shop and this shop is located in the city center very near to Hazrat Ganj in Lucknow here we sell the silk items you know South India Chennai is very famous for silk so we get the silk from there there is a famous place you would have heard its name Kanchipuram silk you see and not only from Kanchipuram we have brought a couple of items like these shirts these shirts have been brought from Indonesia and this Indonesian silk and the style of embroidery is batik and on these shirts we do uh, the chicken curry of our city and make it uh, beautiful and if you could see these are the sari which are worn by the ladies this is the Kanchivaram silk which we get from southern part of our country that is uh, Kanchipuram in Tamil Nadu state and these are the artificial jewelry or the imitation jewelry which I also deal with they have been picked chosen from Gujarat there is a place called Rathkot which is very famous for this so these are the items for ladies beautification if you could have a look these are the handicraft items which have been brought from Gujarat this is a portly bag and this is a big bag for girls and these are the mobile purses for the ladies if you could see this embroidery which is one of the finest of embroideries hand done embroideries our uh, state of Gujarat is very famous as far as export of these products are concerned of late we have also started manufacturing them and there is a great demand of these products in Lucknow in our region as well as it has drawn its traction in uh, North American countries in European countries as well as Middle East this is the batik silk shirt which uh, is a product of Indonesia if you could see this is a silk with a design or printing called batik it is quite famous in indonesia we bring these shirts from indonesia and do our chicken work hand embroidery on this so that it looks so beautiful it is a mixture of two classes two countries and if you could see they have put the muslin cloth inside so that the silk does not hurt your skin or you don't have any kind of allergy with the silk if you could see this color this design you will never find anywhere in India it's so beautiful and cherry on the cake is the embroidery which we have done with chicken 400 year old embroidery technique of Awat 